This is lesson nine in my series on learning to fly an FPV quadcopter in Acrobode using the FPV Free Rider Simulator. In previous episodes, we have practiced landing, various kinds of landings, uh, landings down low, and then uh, with the drop and catch, where you drop from altitude very quickly. I want to give you a drill right now to help you sort of start putting it all together. Uh, We've practiced setting the copter down smoothly on the ground and lo losing altitude quickly without losing control. But when you land, usually it's not good enough to just touch down anywhere, but you want to touch down in a specific place. And so what I want you to do in this session is start practicing landing a at a specific location. For example, if I take off, I can fly to the edge of the map, and then I can say, I'm going to land close to, let's say I'm going to try to land close to that bench. And I can set up an approach and reduce my speed. As the closer I get, the more I'm going to reduce my speed. I'm going to control my altitude as I get in close, establish a straight line. And as I get very close, reduce the throttle and touch down. Okay, so pick a point and let's let's pick a point and let's try to land as close to it as we can. Setting up the landing approach is going to be basically the same as what we've been doing, but instead of just setting a, a steady descent, you're going to manage your descent and your speed so that as you touch down, you're close to the object. The closer you are to the object, the closer to the ground you want to be generally, uh, and the slower you want to be going. Although altitude management is probably not going to be an issue if you have practiced flying down low, as I suggested in one of the earlier uh, lessons. Because if you can fly down low, then you can just pick your spot where you want to land. I'm going to land right over here, over near here, and and I'm just moving slowly, and I'm just going to bring it in. So, but if you don't feel comfortable flying like this, then I'm going to pitch back, and as I there we go, set down. If you don't feel comfortable flying like that, then this exercise might be a little bit challenging for you. So practice flying low and slow before you practice this. Landing is just flying low and really slow until you get to the point you want to get to, and then you shut the motors down and you, you touch down. A good challenge for you might be to try flying low and slow and fly through these uh, these uprights here. Very careful altitude management. And through there we go. And if you're feeling very ambitious, then maybe we can even fly under here. Like that, a hole. <laughs> and then the final challenge for you, I would say, is to try to land on the Jeep. So let's get a little further out to set up our approach. And we'll set up an approach. We'll maintain altitude at the level. We'll move in slow, straight and slow. A little too fast now. Slow down. A little too fast. Oh, don't want to go backward though. 
and so we're sure we're over it oh pretty close oh and sit down there you go so um it got a little tricky there at the end uh, as you're trying to do a precision landing it's easy to slip into the mode of hovering and as i said hovering is difficult especially because you can uh, see oh see i've had a mistake already you can lack visual reference and it's hard to tell what's what's to the side of you um if you're hovering in a clear area like if i were to fly if i were to fly over here where i can kind of see these things as a visual reference and i know that i'm not going to crash into anything i might could have a chance a better chance at hovering i'm still drifting a lot though aren't i i've almost got it i'm still drifting a lot it's hard to tell if i'm drifting to the side or backwards i kind of got it this is much easier to do in the simulator than in real life though but i can't tell if i'm directly on top of something if i were trying to land on something it'd be really hard to tell if i was directly on top of it or a little bit in front of it or a little bit behind it so when you're going in for a precision landing like that where's that jeep hello there it is you want to just approach it slowly but still drifting forward at a, a very slowly drifting forward not too quick until you feel yourself fly over it and when you're sure you're over it then just sit down there you go okay so there's something to practice and i'll see you next time